So the Galaxy of 22 series is set to debut at an Impact event on February the 8th. The photo's been leaking quite nicely over the past few months. But the biggest shocker is at the Galaxy of 22 series. It's set to debut at $100 more than the previous year. The Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus design will sort of look like the previous S21, but have a more contra-cut camera that doesn't stick out as far as 50 megapixel main sensor on the S22, but 180 megapixel sensor on the Ultra. All phones have a 10 megapixel to a photo lens with a 3 times optical dot, but the Galaxy S22 Ultra gets an additional 10 megapixel 10 times optical sensor. The ultra wide cameras will be the same across the board at 12 megapixels, and the front facing camera will be 10 megapixels on the S22 and S22 Plus, but 40 megapixels on the ultra. Considering how expensive these phones are, it should have never come with a plastic back to begin with. The overall feel and look of the Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus will remain the same as the previous year. The Ultra is literally going to look and function like Galaxy Note with an included built-in S10 and S10 slot. In fact, it looks so similar to a Note 10. It would be hard to tell the difference, unless you flip it on his back to see the cameras. The cameras on the auction will look less in your face and more minimal compared to the Note 10. The lineup that is pleased are expected to shrink on the Galaxy S22 from 6.2 inches to 6.06. .06. This will put it in between the screen size of an iPhone 13 mini and iPhone 13. The S22 Plus will support a 6.5-inch display down from 6.7, and the Ultra is expected to be 6.8 down from 6.9. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is going to have the world's brightest display rated at 1,750 nits. And now the latest leaks tell us the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus is also going to have 1,750 nits of brightness. And on top of that, it is going to have the LTPO adaptive refresh rate, just like the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is a technology that allows the refresh rate to dynamically switch from 100 to 120 Hz as needed thus giving you a great smooth experience and also longer battery life. So that's great that we have that LTPO on the S22 Plus dot as well now, the S22 Plus also going to have a 6.55 inch display. Now, let's talk about the potential massive disappointment. So yesterday we had a leak who has a good track record tell us that Exynos 2200 has been cancelled worldwide and everybody is gonna get the Snapdragon processor. Now today, we have another reliable leaker Ishan, who's saying the complete opposite. He's saying many parts of the world are still gonna get Exynos 2200. So if you have any questions, comments or concerns, drop them down below.